Um, I've been I've been thinking about that more and more recently too, dude. Like this kind of like there's something about books where books you can get away with this kind of stuff because really disturbing stuff that's hard to watch visually. So like when you're seeing like really like gory shit on horror movies or something, everybody freaks out about that. And like there's other things like but like in a novel, like when you're reading it, there's like a level of removal in like the words on the page as opposed to a visual playing out in front of you or a real but life. But there's thing. also the added opportunity to have um you know more depth of perspective yeah like, well, i just mean it's a like, good so place you can to put have disturbing the interior things. like it helps us that we have hannah's interior monologue or she would appear as more of a villain to us yeah. i mean she still is but like you know because like i, I feel like that would this wouldn't translate as well like into a movie yeah, although right. I'm sure it'll be a movie eventually. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's been optioned or something. But, like... But, like, imagine how much of this book is, like, Hannah's internal monologue. Because, like, right. you know, one of our main characters is a child who refuses to speak. And it's not that she can't speak. It's that, it, it seems. It's and that I just, she yeah. elects not to. I just mean, it's like, it's just, it's a good place to put disturbing stuff. It's even better to put disturbing stuff in books than it is visually, because a lot of times visually seeing it play out visually or like is more disturbing than reading it in the book kind of thing. So, you know, throughout history, we put the most disturbing, disgusting, horrific stuff in novels first, usually. And then when they get turned into movies or they get optioned into movies or something, they usually cut out some of the more horrific shit. Yeah, because you you can write horrific things. Right, exactly. So it's like this, this, this it's the place for all of that and sophie mentioned this about the dialogue like there isn't a lot of dialogue it's a lot of in- internal uh monologue and things and, and thought processes and psyches of the characters really just suzette and uh hannah the mother and the daughter but that i think is what makes it lean into the literary side where it's like there's yeah. not a lot of dialogue like there's dialogue but not a whole lot it's mostly the internal world <clears throat> And I, you know, that's good. Like, I like it. I like that it blended those. 